Hi and welcome to another tutorial for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at um, keying and how we can export what's called pre-keyed video. So uh, in the last tutorial we were publishing a Final Cut Pro, uh, sorry a Motion 5 um, template into Final Cut Pro. So um, that for example was this here, our um, head up display gauge and that is now available in Final Cut Pro as a generator that can be dragged into our project and we can edit these um, these various uh, parameters uh, for our generators so in our published parameters so that was what we did last time so this is one way that we can get um, something that you created in Motion 5 into Final Cut Pro now it may be that you want to share it, um, you might be working cr across different um, platforms, you may be working on Adobe Premiere um, and you can't bring in these Final Cut Pro generators or whatever it is, you may want to create what's called pre-keyed footage. You could just be creating a stock library of footage for example, um, it could be something that you haven't made in um, motion like an object like this, it could be some video that you filmed against a, a blue screen. Now you can do keying here in Final Cut Pro. They do, they do have the, the uh, capability of keying in here. Um, but I try and keep my uh, overhead in Final Cut Pro down as much as possible. I get Motion 5 to do the heavy lifting. The reason being, uh, generally in Final Cut Pro, I'm doing my final edit. It could be a long movie. It could, it could be uh, at the 10, 15, 20 minute movie clip. And if you're having Final Cut Pro do all of the heavy lifting, all of the editing, the keying, um, etc then it can become quite irksome and and really slow down Final Cut Pro to the stage where um, it's just unusable so I prefer um, to do short clips in motion um, 5 that have these uh, requirements export them as a movie and then bring them here into Final Cut Pro or even composite it in motion 5 first of all so uh, here's how we go about creating the pre-keyed footage. Um, so instead of publishing as a template this time, and it's showing up in Final Cut Pro as a generator, this time we are going uh, to actually import it as a movie file, and that movie file should have a transparency to it. So let's go ahead and create that. So we'll go over into Motion 5 here, so here's our gauge, and I created a new group called Keying, and I added to that a color solid. Um, now you need to choose a color which is contrasting to our background here, for, um, so that we can see it. So I chose this blue color, and then you add what's called the Kia to it, the Keying filter. So if we go to our library, and you go to Keying, and go down to Kia here, and you drag this across and drop it onto the color solid. And you'll see now what it does is it will key out all of that blue color. So anything which is that blue color, it will key out, and it will leave us with a transparent background. Now, when we go to export this um, as a movie, so we go to share, export movie, now you must choose Apple ProRes 444 um, uh, because this is the one which will support the alpha channel which is the transparent background. So in your render you need to make sure that color and alpha is selected. You want to make sure that we're going to export this alpha channel. So I'll go to next and we'll export this as gauge one uh, movie. So let's export this out um, now the Apple uh, ProRes 4444 um, movie files are quite large um, so you only really want to use this format if you require the transparent background. If you don't require the transparent background I definitely recommend using one of the other formats to keep your file sizes down. So we'll go back over into Final Cut Pro here and we will import a new, uh, hold on, let's just delete this, move event to trash, let's create a new event, and I'm going to import to here, 
the video that we just created. So I go to Import Selected. Now let's drag this back into our screw into our scene here. And now when we drag this movie in, you'll see we've got a transparent background to that movie. So anything that was had that blue color to it has been keyed out and we're left with a transparent background. So this is pre-keyed footage. So um, anything which is filmed against a, a green screen or a blue screen, um, you can key out that color leave you with a transparency that you can then bring into your uh, movie here and composite it in. So that's uh, a quick overview of how you create uh, and export pre-keyed footage from Motion 5 and uh, um, preserve the alpha channel so that when you use it in Final Cut Pro, that transparent background is maintained. Uh, one other thing that uh, I might mention is that uh, now I've got this into here, it's going to be difficult for me to change the colors of this um, because it already has the colors set to it. So if I go back into Motion 5 and I'm going to remove my colorization filters that I added to here. And that will make everything back to um, black and white. So if I turn off my key, you can see everything now is back to black and white. Uh, if I was to export this again in the black and white format. So we go to um, export movie. And once it's exported, we'll bring it into Final Cut Pro again. And obviously um, we'll have a transparent background and we'll have the blacks and the whites uh, on, on display. And then we'll be able to add color to it by adding the colorization filter to Final Cut Pro itself. So let's import media again. We'll bring in our black and white version of the gauge. We'll drag that into our scene. So there's our black and white version. Um, and then we can add our colorization to this so we go to our filters here and we want our colorization yeah here so within our color we can alter the blacks and the whites to get the desired effect that you want to achieve. So you just drag this around and it will affect our whites and our blacks. So that's how you would add a, a color to our pre-keyed footage. Um, so there you go. That's how you create pre-keyed footage there in um, Motion 5 and export it so you can use it either in Final Cut Pro or, or any other video editing package. Um, however, if you're using Final Cut Pro and Motion, I definitely recommend um, if you're creating uh, objects such, such, as, such as this that you uh, publish it as a template because it makes it much more controllable in here and I covered that in a previous tutorial how we can publish from Motion 5 to Final Cut Pro as a generator and have all of these parameters editable. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to go over to my blog and uh, keep up to date with all my latest tutorials there and there's also some free templates and stuff you can download and uh, if you found this video useful please hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in.